I've received quite a few comments from users asking about I have a video that shows uh, using my pitch trim knob or one of the Turnigy 9X knobs to control my gimbal so uh, it was a Hobby King gimbal and unfortunately it was destroyed in a little accident so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to configure your Turnigy 9X to uh, one of your control knobs to adjust the uh, the position of the servo and in this case I have a little LED light connected to it just you know just for an effect um, so let me turn on my transmitter and you can see as I adjust the knob we have the LED light rotate it's actually pretty fun to fly and you know adjust this uh, like almost like a spotlight or a searchlight but it is also quite a challenge to to hover and and do that so for this tutorial I'm actually using channel 7 on my Turnigy 9X receiver uh, some of my other channels I'm currently experimenting with so I'll you know demonstrate when we configure our Turnigy 9X receiver or transmitter I'll demonstrate how we uh, associate that with channel 7. So we're going to power on the Turnigy 9X. You see have an APM configuration for my RG Pilot uh, quadcopter and we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at go down to our auxiliary channel setup and you can see for channel 7 you can flip through these guys using your plus and minus buttons but we're gonna set it on pitch trim and to save that setting we hit menu and so that's really all that's done for necessary for step one so that um, your knob can then be uh, connected to channel 7 on your receiver okay now just by you know, associating that auxiliary channel with the pitch trim knob, you can see we now have control over the servo. So next step, we're going to go ahead and adjust our uh, endpoint so that we can get, you know, in this case, as much range as we want. Now, you know, your your settings are obviously going to vary based on uh, if you're using a gimbal or whatever you have attached to the servo. So now that our pitch trim is not, knob is connected to uh, channel 7 on the receiver, we're going to go ahead and set the endpoint. So we're going to scroll up to the menu option that says E point for endpoint. We'll hit menu and we'll go all the way down to this first auxiliary channel and you can see that the endpoint, um, the left endpoint and the right endpoint changes actually as you switch, you know, you I think cross kind of the halfway point of the uh, knob and you'll notice that on each setting you know I have mine at roughly 120 percent on both ends um, you you can adjust that all the way down you know somewhere in between or all the way up so you're going to want to do that for both endpoints we'll go all the way up and I set to 120 percent just to get um, you know the max throw range uh, for each endpoint. So one other thing I had to do is obviously as I turn left versus right I want uh, my servo to turn in the corresponding direction so I had to you know do a, a servo reversing setup so I go up to reverse hit menu and if you scroll down to your first auxiliary channel you can hit plus or minus to if you want a normal uh, servo rotation or if you want to reverse it so in this case we want to reverse or at least in my case I want to reverse hit menu and save that so really the, those were kind of the three main steps you know step one is making sure you have your auxiliary channel set up properly by going in here so pitch trim channel 7 then we went ahead and we set up our endpoints you know full throw for both endpoints on that auxiliary channel and then 
in my case, I reverse the servo. And, you know, once all the settings were saved, you're pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to take it for a test flight just to demonstrate, um, you know, the use of the uh, knob to control the LED, LED light during flight. Okay, so here we are with the LED light powered up, and I can just use my pitch trim knob that we just configured to control the light. So that was a hopefully quick and easy demonstration of using your Turner G9X control knob to uh, control a servo attached to your quad and that could be for gimbal use or anything that you see fit. So I hope that was useful and thanks for watching.